Hello everyone, I'm Farhal Imran and today I'll be telling you about a new AI framework and it's a multi-AI framework of Microsoft that is called Magentic One. So Microsoft joins multi-AI agent Frey with Mag Magentic One. So what is Magentic One? So Magentic One is a rival to the multi-agent framework such as Salesforce Agent Force or IBM's B agent framework for enterprises wanting to let AI complete complex tasks that are currently handled by humans. So it's basically, it's for enterprises, those who want to let AI complete complex tasks, which are currently handled by humans. So instead of humans handling those tasks, AI will handle those complex tasks. So I'll be telling you all about it. So stay tuned until the end so that you don't miss any information regarding it. So let's get started. So here it says that Microsoft wants enterprises to believe that it's Magentic One multi-AI agent system. What it will do, it will enable them to automate complex tasks that previously required human intervention means before human was needed to complete those tasks. So now what it will do this multi-AI agent system will automate those complex tasks and do it by itself. And one of a number of Agentic AI offerings to arrive on the market in recent months, Magentic One, it's actually built on Microsoft's previously released Autogen open source agent development framework. Now what Microsoft expects, now it expects the generalist multi-agent system which is also open to be used for open-ended web and file-based tasks for now. So it's actually used for web and file-based tasks. But it aims to create a multi-agent system that can handle complex tasks involving reasoning, such as automatically ordering food or arranging a delivery of a product. So AI will be doing the task instead of the human. So now this new multi-agent system will go some way toward answering Mark Benioff's criticism of Microsoft's existing AI offering. Now the Salesforce CEO has said Copilot is more like Clippy 2.0, means it is referring to the ill-fated and irritating animated paper clip that once offered assistance on writing a letter in Microsoft Office. So the orchestrator, which is the leader, it plans, tracks progress, and also replans for to recover from errors while directing specialized agents to perform tasks like operating a web browser, navigating local files, or writing and executing Python code. So the company explained in a blog post. And from Microsoft's explanation, the orchestrator agent sounds very familiar to Salesforce Atlas Reasoning Engine which controls the agentic loop and agent force. Now the four other sub-agents inside Magentic One, its name or it includes web surfer, file surfer, coder, and computer terminal. So these are the four sub-agents, which is the AI agents. So web server is an LLM based agent that can manage tasks on Chrome based web browsers. So this agent will manage tasks on Chrome based web browsers File server can command a markdown based file preview application in order to read local files of most types. And Coder, what it does, it specializes in writing code, collecting information from other agents, analyzing it, and creating new artifacts. Now, the computer terminal agent, meanwhile, gives the multi agent system access to a console shell where Coder's program can be executed and new programming libraries can be installed. So these are what the four sub multi agent can do. Now scrolling down, now given the architecture and the sub agents, it seems that Magentic One should be capable of completing tasks in a computer akin to computer use capability that Entropic is currently showing in a beta version with the limitation that Magentic One's computer access is restricted to browsing the web and viewing files. And here it also says that the Magentic One system, at least in Microsoft's current implementation, it uses GPT-4.0, 
as the underlying LLM for all agents, but Microsoft said that any other agent can be used for the various agents, including the orchestrator. In combination with small language models that specialize in certain tasks for other agents. Now, however, what the company said, they pointed out that enterprises or developers should use an LLM with strong reasoning capabilities to get the most out of the multi agent system. And it has also released an agenting evaluation tool, which is known as Autogen Bench to help developers test any Magentic One implementation with the help of benchmarks. And Microsoft also warned potential users of Magentic One to take precautions, including running the agents in containers to isolate them and prevent any direct attacks, and monitoring logs closely to detect and mitigate risky behavior of agents. And also additionally, Microsoft said, Agents' access to the internet should be limited, and a human user should always be present to supervise them. So this AI is basically doing the task, but still, the human user is needed to supervise them in order to prevent the risk of the attacks, and also the internet access should be also limited. And it has also warned developers against giving the agents access to sensitive data or any resources that stand a chance of being compromised. So that's all I can say. Thank you so much.